the Jedi specifically. That's my favorite. I know it's an unpopular opinion, but Return of the Jedi is my favorite. Yeah. Hi. I mean, everyone says Empire. It's the best. Hi, I'm Garrett from Area of Washington. Hi, hey, man. So, um, if you were to write the series finale of Stranger Things, how would you do it? Ooh. If we had to rewrite, you wrote, know what? I don't. I think finale. that we should hear how you would do it, because yeah. whatever they say is going to be viewed as like inside information. Yeah, it, and it's not. <laughs> <laughs> what they would you I'm do? Yeah. Saying yeah. Now. Oh, Every, he's one of the smart guys. Don't. He's tricking no, us. He's he's a smart. Look at him. He has headphones on. He's smart. <laughs> he's <laughs> <listening>. <laughs> like, they're not ordinary headphones. They're the not NSA. even beats. They're like he made those. He yeah. made those headphones. Cheaply so, made. Huh? Cheaply made. Hey, uh, those are the smart ones, guys. He knows how to save his money. Um, <laughs> but I'm saying, like, don't give up. Because I was about to, like, really go into season three and be like, don't well, since in season three, you know how this happened. Yeah, I'm not going to answer the question, you tricky <laughs> guy. Gotcha. Caught no, you. Everyone in this audience thinks that we have an input, like, with the duffers. Like, we, we, don't. we don't. We don't write the show. Yeah. We don't have it. So, yeah, it's really interesting. Sometimes they'll ask us questions, like, sometimes fans will ask us questions that only, like, the Duffers would know, and they'll be, well, actually, what's great is when people come up to you and you're like, when's season, like, three coming out? And you're like, July 4th. And they're like, oh, like, like, it's my fault that it's July like, 4th. Oh, <laughs> like, I thought it was Halloween, dude. Yeah, they're like, come oh, on, Like, man. can't you just push it back? I'm like, no. Okay, yeah, let me just march up to Netflix's office and be like, a month earlier, <laughs> this guy, like this guy Kurt from Seattle, said <laughs> it had to be earlier. So Ted Trans is like, okay, I guess. They get like mad. <laughs> like, people get mad at me. Like, when, like, they're like, is it Halloween this year? I'm like, no, it's not. They're like, when? I'm like, I don't know. It was before they announced that it was July. I think it's pretty cool it's 4th of July, I though. I think so, too. I like it. I like Everyone great holiday, you know? spend it with their fireworks and their beers and their whatever's. <laughs> Yeah, we get barbecue. Barbecue. Barbecues. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. We can't answer your question. We can't answer your question. We don't trust over. ourselves. <laughs> Hi. Go, Go ahead. ahead. I'm Mary from Stillicum, Washington. Um, I would play D and D a lot, and I have a character based off of Glory from um, uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I'm wondering what nice. your favorite class to play is. Wait, say, is the, is the wait, question, do we know what Buffy the Vampire Slayer is? <laughs> no. Um, we do. What's, your, what's your favorite D&D class to play? Oh, we don't, oh, we don't, oh, we don't know anything favorite about D&D. Class. Is there a knight? <laughs> yeah, why I not? No, we don't know anything why about D&D. Why don't you give uh, them the choices? And then... Yeah. You have cleric, you have paladin, you have fighter, you have um, oh, right. sorcerer, you have wizard, you have warlock, oh, you have okay. bard. Oh, okay. <laughs> Dustin would definitely be a bard. <laughs> I get that. I, <laughs> what? Wizard is mine. Dustin's a bard. I know that. What, what is? I what know is, that. What is Lucas? Oh, everyone Claire. got quiet. You see, that's why Claire. I needed parents. <laughs> so Claire. I know my ways in life. I needed guidance. I, okay. No guidance here. We have not. So what is a bard? <laughs> Musical performer. Hey, they start. Uh. What? Magic through music? That's so cool. That's awesome. <laughs> but, like, what is Lucas, though? For real, for real. No, don't you have a line about it? Ranger. Ra I'm, I'm a ranger. ranger. I'm a ranger. Yeah. All right, cool. I like that. <laughs> Wait. Max doesn't have one. Max. Zoomer. <laughs> wow, that what? was Cleric. A, a Claire? How do you know that? Has it been said? They're just guessing. What about Mike? Sure. <laughs> I think there's a paladin. Aren't paladin, I a paladin? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, then the ones that our characters are. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we're sorry. To, we we have we not know. had time to actually we play D&D. We should, &D. though. People keep saying, I mean, we should. Yeah, we it should. We, we just never, every time we're on we set. We tried to like, last Remember, we tried to have like, a game like, night. Fun? We you have guys? to. We've, people told us, like, this a hundred times, guys, like, literally. Let me recommend no, season one to. of Critical Role to you guys. And <laughs> then we'll come back to your question next year. Right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hi, I'm Anthea from Federal Way, and I was curious, if you guys went to Comic-Con, like, what would you dress up as, besides your own characters? Uh, we wouldn't Morales. dress up as our own characters. <laughs> yeah, I would dress, I saw a kid dressed up as Miles Morales, but yeah, I would, I would do, I would Th do. Into the Spider-Verse is Morales. officially my favorite Spider-Man movie. 
It's so good. It's so I yeah. Love it. Yeah, me too. I freaking love it. But I wouldn't go as my character because I dress up as my character already. I, w- I don't want to have to. I don't want to do that. It's kind of like going to work. It's like wearing your uniform. Like, it's like <laughs> I don't want to do that. Uh, for me, it's probably a stormtrooper because I want to. I want to step in their shoes and be like, what does it feel like to be this unappreciated <laughs> <laughs> as a stormtrooper? Because I just like and don't like they get they they get treated like crap. Those poor stormtroopers. Yeah, They're they. Really, those people have families. Yeah. And, like, and, they, and they just get Wilhelm scream back yeah. to back. Ow! <laughs> yeah. Those, yeah. That would be good, though. You guys could, if you did the Stormtrooper or any, like, full facial cover, you can walk around and just, yeah, like, enjoy. Yeah, that's why. That's also why. Either Spider-Man, Stormtrooper, something where, like, they can't see my face. Yeah. I is, be able this, to see is this, like, us now or us, like, if we weren't, like, famous? I mean, you can interpret it however you now. want. So now. Uh, sure. <laughs> yeah, I guess something with the mask. Uh, <laughs> not that we don't like talking to fans. It's like we just want to like see all this stuff, too, like just like everybody else does. So we just want to experience it in that way as well. Yeah. Uh, That's pretty cool. Yeah, I guess something with the mask. I, I don't, I don't, Are I was going to say Scott Pilgrim, but then everyone knows who I am. <laughs> but, That'd yeah. be great, though. You'd be a good Scott Pilgrim. Thank mm-hmm. you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Uh, my name is Katie Parker from North Bend, Washington. Uh, and I oh. was wondering, uh, my favorite thing to do is perform on stage. So how does your guys' time on stage help or not help with your time being on set? It helped immensely. In, I mean, in my opinion, it's basically it's what set me up uh, to get on the screen. Uh, it wasn't necessarily like a goal for any of us to learn like we're gonna start here and then go into film like films yeah, are things. Yeah, it was thing. never. Yeah, it was never that. We just like we love. I think all of us were drawn to theater in some way, shape, or form. Whether you, we love theater or we love the specific show that we were doing. Exactly. I yeah. know that the minute you saw Lion King, you were like, I want to. I want to be Simba. Like, yeah. That's. So I, I think it was just that passion and that drive that just got us really excited about it, and it, 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 it like we want more of this, and then a TV show just came our way just randomly. Like, it wasn't like we had been shooting for a, a film or anything, but when it comes to being prepared, uh, there's nothing uh, better than live theater because you get that immediate reaction. You get, like, the scare. It's so much scarier doing theater than it is doing film. Like, it's a completely yes. different experience. <laughs> it's so, it can be stressful, but it's awesome, and it's amazing. It's so, it is so much harder than film, and I love it. I'm going, like, I, I know that, like, of course I'm not going to stop doing film or anything, but I know that, I, I don't know about you two, but, well, even you, I don't know if you're going to go and do it, but I know that. <laughs> I know you oh, yeah, know, you. Uh, no, I'm just saying, I, I don't know if, like, he's going to the theater at all, but I know that I'm definitely, definitely going back. That's it's, where I feel most satisfied. It's, yeah. it's authentic. It was authentic. It, yeah. The love when we got into acting. I never wanted to be an actor. I I wanted to be a bodybuilder at one time. <laughs> um, I wanted to be, I wanted to have a garage band. It was crazy, you know? Yeah, then, it was never like, oh, I want to be famous. Yeah, I want to be, be an famous. actor. It was always just like, oh, this if is fun. I want people to sit in front of me and listen to me. Like, yeah, if no. you're acting to be famous, you're acting for the wrong reasons. Yeah. So stop. Yeah. For real, for real. Yeah. Well said. Thank you. Hi. have a dream role you'd love to play in the future? Yes. Dream, dream role, role that you'd like to play in the future. I want to... This is an easier question when you're talking about theater. Because theater, like, they replace uh, the actors playing the parts. Constantly. Before you go lot. into your deep, I'm not detailed going into you go. theater talk, no, I, know, it's I just want to say one... It's going to be a theater seminar. <laughs> <laughs> I just... I, w- I would love to play Miles Morales, guys. I would, yeah. That would be great. Stormtrooper. I would love to do any kind of, like... Stormtrooper. <laughs> A period piece? What, um, are you thinking like 1800s or? I don't know, something like that, I guess. That'd be cool. great. Yeah. I can totally see you in like a BBC series. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> um, I've, uh, I've been watching a lot of like thriller. I don't know. Um, like I just watched this. I've been watching this movie like on repeat um, called Good Time. It's by... Um, these guys in New York called the Safdie Brothers, and I think they're the best filmmakers, uh, like some of the best filmmakers living right now. So, uh, I, you know, I'd love to do anything with them. 
Um, and uh, yeah, if anyone has never seen Good Time, Good Times, it's with Robert Pattinson, and uh, yeah, it's crazy. So that's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Oh. I'm Lucy. I'm from here. What oh. happened? Go ahead, Lucy. You're all good. Yeah. So I'm from here. I'm from Seattle. Um, and are there any like um, lesser known projects that you've done that you wish uh, people knew more about? Or oh, that's more a good question. It is. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Any like little indies or or maybe something that hasn't been released yet, other than season three? Um, well, pretty much anything that's been on stage. Like I feel, I just wish that people. Yeah. As like a like a theater actor in New York, like you do so many yeah. like little readings or like labs and workshops and stuff like that. There's so much, that you'll so do, much work You'll spend like a week working on and you'll do it and then nothing happens with it. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, like, yeah, there's so I many. I did a reading for, I did an audition, I did an audition for uh, a musical that was called Writing Arthur and I don't know what happened to it and it was super cool because the character that I have been auditioning for for pretty much two years uh, was this character who had this tragedy in his life. I don't know if they're gonna continue with it, so I I'm not gonna talking. spoil anything. Wait, because I think I know that one. You think you know that one? But yeah. I cool. Think. But it was. I, it's like <laughs> he deals with this tragedy in uh, early on in his life, and this was granted when I was 10 years old. Uh, he deals with this tragedy like that happens shortly before the musical, and. The way he copes with it is he basically just locks himself down in his basement and he just writes about this character that his mother tells him about. And then through his writing, he plays Arthur, who's the character writing, and then he switches to Arthur, who's a character that he's writing about. And then he performs as that part throughout the music, performs as that part throughout the musical. And it's like, it takes, like, in the story, it takes place in Ireland and he's like some, like, misfit kid in Ireland and then he goes back to being in his, locked in his basement, like, never leaving, it's really depressing, but I wanted to see where that went, because I've always wanted to play a part that's just like a two, like two parts at once, pretty much. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Thank you, great question. Hi. Hi, uh, my name is Lizzie. I'm from Seattle, and um, my question is, um, could you, each of you, talk a little bit about what, um, what was the first moment when you realized that you sort of wanted to act for a living, um, either like your first role or like some media you saw that inspired you? When did you guys realize you loved acting? Yeah. Not even for a living, but enough to keep yeah. pursuing it. I think I, when I was in Lion King, um, yeah. I was in it for about a year and a half. And I was just singing, I was singing on stage and I was like, man, this is, I love this, this is my home. I, I wanna keep doing it. I wanna just go and m do film and do more theater. Yeah, that's when I realized I wanted to um, do this more. Mm -hmm. Uh, for me, it was the first show I'd ever done. Uh, it was literally the, per like, the first time I'd ever like, publicly acted. And I was in Priscilla, Queen of the Desert on Broadway, and it was my first entrance into... Do, do people know Priscilla? Of Are course! Know Priscilla? Yes, awesome. Thank you, it was such a fun show. And I was nine years old, and it was the f my first time stepping onto a stage. And it's very cool, because the curtain in the back was like streamers, and that's how like people made their entrances on and off stage. And my first entrance was me sprinting from the streamers right to basically the front of the stage. So it was so abrupt. It was literally just like, it came out of nowhere pretty much. So I'm just there, not being on a stage ever, to the next second being on a stage on Broadway in front of over a thousand people. And it was ridiculous, because I'm just there, I'm just waiting. And then the guardian, the wrangler, Jill, I still miss her, but uh, like she taps me on the back, she's like, get ready, break legs. And I'm just like, okay. I hear my cue and I just bust on stage. I'm just like, yep, forever, right here. <laughs> I just saw it, I'm just like, yep, sure thing. Yep, why not, forever and ever, always. Do you guys wanna go? I don't know, there was never really like a single moment where I was like, oh, I wanna do this for the rest of my life. It was always just something that's been like a part of me and something that I've loved doing my entire life. So I yeah, mean, there yeah. wasn't like a yeah like Gaten. Not everyone could bust through streamers. Like, like, yeah. 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 I had it. I had like a few like light bulb be like moments where I'm just like oh this is really cool. Um, I yeah I guess I just I, was I don't just, like it. <laughs> well I would just watch music or uh, I would just watch mo movies over and over again and. and uh, 
I noticed that I had like a, a really big connection with film because it was the only thing where, where I could just, it's the only thing where I could just, and you know, music too uh, as much, but or, um, film a little more, but uh, just watch it over and over again and not get sick of it. And so I kind of just had this connection to film in general of just like seeing like, uh, seeing just a character on screen or mo even moving, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like just, like, I don't know what it is to me, but I, a moving picture, uh, I mean, like, that's what a movie is, obviously, it's a moving picture, but like, it's, I, I don't know, from like the moment I was like a baby, seeing just things moving on a screen, just like something was just so visually, I just couldn't take my eyes off of it. And then, um, so, he, like I noticed this, I think when I was like eight, and. And then I figured out that I wanted to be a fil filmmaker and um, and just be in film, you know, just do anything um, to be on a film set. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I, uh, my dad w was like, okay, well, if you want to try it, like we can try getting a role or whatever and, um, and you know, open casting call or something. Uh, and so we went on Craigslist. Um, ha 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 ha! Shout out to Craigslist, where you can get your leg bitten off and also get a part, um, <laughs> and a new couch. <laughs> yeah, and get a new couch. Um, but uh, yes, off. yeah. Well, yeah, bitten off. Leg I guess off. you can do anything. By what? A man. <laughs> um, but um, so I did this. I did. Sorry. Well, well I, I don't want to make it too long. But I did this uh, music video and. Um, I just knew from being on set, I was like, you know, collaborating and making friends constantly and having creative output is like, it's, it's like, to me, it's like the best feeling in the world because like, you're just, I don't know, you're making something. So I think from then on, I just wanted to, you I were, wanted to do it. It's kind of euphoric. Yeah, it's really euphoric. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Hi. Hi, um, I'm Sophia. I'm, I you wanted were. to do it. It's kind of euphoric. Yeah, it's really euphoric. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Hi. Hi, um, I'm Sophia. I'm from Seattle. And my question is for Finn. How do you balance touring with Calpurnia and also going to con um, conventions like this? Oh, um, well, I do conventions once in a while because um, I just don't want to do a bunch of stuff. So, like, conventions aren't, obviously, this has been incredible. But you know, I only do a few a year because um, I just try to space them out. Uh, and last year was really fun. It was it was difficult doing Stranger Things than flying. Well, in Gaten too, you know, like you would do shows sometimes yeah. with with Gaten as a band too. And so um, it, it's kind of interesting to to um, you know shoot for a whole week and then have to go to a different, fly to a different city on the weekend, do that, and then come back and start working it. It's, yeah. so. It usually doesn't, it's usually not like that, because it's usually like, well, I feel like both of us kind of perform mm -hmm. when we're not like super busy, busy. No. Like, and conventions are only like in sporadic, like weekends here and there. Like, it's not like. Yeah, it's, it's so conventions, not as much. Like, you know, I don't really, because I don't do them a lot, but with, when it comes to work, like Stranger Things, yeah, you know, I had, to, I had to do a lot of like back-to-back -back stuff, which was like exhausting and, I was in danger of like overworking myself and burning out, and so um, I have learned the hard way a few times how to just like, you know, not overwork myself and take breaks. Cause I'm like a super workaholic, and I love mm -hmm. doing everything. And uh, so I, uh, yeah, I guess it's just like finding it's just finding the balance over time. Um, yeah, I'm definitely working uh, on a bunch of stuff at once. Is you just have to limit it, but yeah. yeah. To space it out. Thank you for that question. Yeah, thank you. What when you guys actually did your first convention? Um, what was your reaction to seeing the fan base that's out there? I mean, it is like, you know, with theater, you get that immediate gratification, and and with a show, not so much. So, what was it like to come to an event like this? This was amazing. You guys are very, very warm and yeah. welcoming. It's my really first cool. con was great, uh -huh. but I got a lot of hate my first con. No, they were like if you were real, if you were more real. nice to eleven, be maybe nice I would do it line. We like, know you didn't write actor. the script. <laughs> no, yeah, I know. Right? You wrote the script. You were mean on purpose. Yeah, yeah, on purpose. <laughs> I was like, um, I'm like Leave him alone. an actor, but yeah. I'm, I'm gonna, as I've done more cons and Stranger Things, got to see who Lucas was. We're like, oh, he's actually not a jerk. 
He's just a sensitive and kid also, because he's trying to find his friend. Also, you're playing a part. Yeah, you're not Lucas. I'm not like that. Yeah. Not also, Lucas. <laughs> I play well, Caleb. I C A L E B. <laughs> Caleb. Or as some people uh, spell it, K A L E B. Sometimes, yeah. like people mess up your name a lot no, for some they, reason. K. Well, hopefully that experience was a minor, you know, the minority. And I think I can speak for everyone in the room when I say, we love you, right? <laughs> I, I, feel I feel the love now. I feel the love now. I, I, I feel it. But feel in the beginning, it was like, what? you were mean to 11. I'm like, that's only one time. And I'm an actor. <laughs> and I'm Guys. sorry. And also, she, he was... You have to think about not it. To get, not to get into like character stuff, but he was right. He was like, right. He was right to be like, Lucas I was, was right. suspicious. On, I was... He was right. <laughs> By the way, at us. Who wouldn't be like, who is this person? Like, yeah. I, She's scary. Our yeah. parents told you us. You with your mind, not and our friends to talk gone. To You're strangers, with her. guys. She who also has, murders people, to too. <laughs> murders several people. So it's hard <laughs> to get that through your brain when you're like 13. Like, so wait, so what? We're going. We're going to a junkyard with a girl that we never met before, and she kills people. Sometimes innocent people. Sometimes, yeah, some, to get, yeah. So it, I feel like he was right to, to think that. So, uh, no hey. Yeah, so <laughs> whoever came up to, so whoever came up to Caleb, uh, Caleb uh, at that first convention, um, I'm not going to swear because there's so many kids here, but F you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Um. Hi. Um, I'm Francis from Bellevue, Washington, and I work, or no, I do um, uh, theater on stage. And one of my <laughs> one of my favorite things is the bonds that I create with my castmates. Yep. And all of the like outside of the things outside of the show things that we do together. Um, and I was wondering what each of your favorite or funniest moments with the Stranger Things cast yeah. has been. Sure. First, I just want to add on to what you were saying. With theater, I think you create a family. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you create a family, like, because you're with them every single day, so you create, like, a really tight-knit family. It's like the and bond you make yeah. with theater. Yeah, and it's nothing like less than the bond you make family. with people in film. It's just, like, you're not with people in film all the time, like, 24-7. So I think it's, I understand where you're coming from when you say you get so close with people. Yeah. So the, uh, yeah. <laughs> First of all, you didn't answer the question. <laughs> you did. I'm not, I, just, I, I said I was adding on to her. Uh, I'm trying to think of the funniest. I love you. I, have, I love you. I have a great. Oh my god. Do you have a good memory? Gate and falling in the woods. Ah! Oh God. <laughs> You're like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. Not that inside joke. What? Continue. Um, I don't know. You fell on it. Was really I did funny. fall in the woods you three been times. Talking. Say the story. Come on. Tell no, the twice. story. Tell the Wait. people. It's kind of Gaten's story, but okay, like, I mean, I know. from but my no, perspective, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, it was we were fun. doing this. He scene. said enough. <laughs> it's it's funnier when you say it from someone yeah. else's perspective. Yeah. Your perspective, yeah. Well, okay. We were doing that scene where it's me, Steve, you. Justin and we're all running and we're meeting up with um, Charlie and Natalia and Jonathan and Nancy. Thank you. <laughs> um, but we were, there were like these fog machines and they were really slippery because they were made, I don't know what they were made out of, but it was kind of slippery. Well, it was slippery and also there was fog on it, like water. Exactly. It was really There's hard to see. Yeah, but then yeah. you were running and you slipped <laughs> and you grabbed a branch to like try to stop off. yourself and it just broke <laughs> off. And it's funny but you're hearing it from the crew's perspective because all they see is fog in the trees and light from like lights in the back. No, and, and all they see is a flashlight. They see my flashlight, and all they go. see is my flashlight go. <laughs> That's all they see. All they hear is and then you and see you a flashlight go, and you hear a branch you break. They're like, uh, did I? Yeah. I don't remember. And that I remember was... I was the only one laughing. Yeah, <laughs> no, you, you, only you. I was like, Gay in. Sadie's a secret. Are you okay? Like, like, and Sadie's oh, are you okay? And Sadie's just laughing at me. Don't fall, don't die I'd in prefer, front of Sadie, she'll laugh. I'd prefer, <laughs> I'd prefer people laughing at that, to be honest with you. Because I don't want to be the one laughing, getting up, people like, are you okay? I'm like, I'm fine. Like, are you sure? Sometimes you just it's need like, to laugh at all. Like, it's yeah. embarrassing. Laugh at me. I think, I think you're welcome. The more I've known Sadie, the more she likes, like, absurd humor. I remember one time we were talking, I don't think any cat, like, th there was a thing, there was an incident on the highway in Atlanta where a bunch of cows got out. <laughs> 
and, and they ran on the highway. I don't think any of them died or any. Well, maybe one. There were a few. There, were, there was a, ca there was there a cow was, casualty. Yeah. However, so we're, we're looking at it, and I, it's not, it's not, okay. But anyways, so you just go, Finn, did you hear about the cattle thing on the highway? It's awful. <laughs> I'm vegan. I should be more like concerned about this. I was like, oh my god, there's a bunch of cows loose on the highway. No, because to be fair, the casualties were, are sad, but it's very funny to see a bunch of cattle running on the highway loose. This guy. <laughs> this guy. Oh my god, I ran over this one guy. <laughs> what? Oh no. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah. I hope that answered your question. <laughs> They're funny I forgot moments. what the question was. <laughs> yeah. Hi. I'm Sarah, and I'm from New York. Um, oh, New York in the house! Um, I was wondering if you could choose any other Netflix show or movie to be on, what would it be? American Vandal. Amer oh my god, American yes. Vandal. Yes. What, did they cancel American Vandal? I know, I'm really, I did think they? so, I'm really upset. Did they? Yeah, they canceled they American did. Vandal, and they need to bring it back. Bring it back! Bring it back! Bring it back, bring it back American Vandal! <laughs> yeah, it's American so Vandal. Good. It is so good. Yeah. 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 Caleb, same. I've never seen American oh my Vandal. God, well, wait, wait. Um, any any shows stick out in your mind? Um, it doesn't think. have to be a Netflix. Let's just say any show, any right? Show? Yeah. Any show? Any show. I mean, if it was her question, it was a Netflix show, right? You could do any it show. It doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know. Um, uh, you know what? Answer it on your Twitter later. I will. Yeah. My favorite thing in the world is when someone asks, like, what would you like to do with this? And other people in the audience shout stuff at you. And they're like, this. And it's like, it's not that. Like that, sure. I guess. It's like, pick this. <laughs> I love how someone shouted under their breath, Bird Box. Bird Box. Bird Box. <laughs> Bird Box. That also oh, no, Bird Box. is a movie that there's only one of them. There's only one. Like, it's made, it's been made already. Yeah, you can't like just join like a movie. Like Goodfellas, Goodfellas. Yeah. Like what? that was made a long time that was a ago. A while ago. <laughs> Remake. Hi. Thank you. Hi. Hi, I'm Annika from Bellingham, and I was just wondering how you've like adjusted to having this huge fan base because you guys are like kids, and then like you're all in all of a sudden. We are kids. <laughs> no, never I'm glad you recognize. So, sorry, what's the what's the question? What how is our reaction you, to we, fans? How are we adjusting to? Uh, oh the yeah. Recognition. We still are. Yeah, yeah, we really are. It's it's levels to it because it, every day it just gets bigger, and like oh we got to the, uh, adjust to this level now. Like in the beginning it was like all right we're getting used to it. All right now more people are recognizing us. Okay, it's great. Yeah. Like, you, I love that the work that we're doing is being recognized and that people appreciate it. I mean it's it's great to know that what we've done has made an impact on people. It's really inspiring. But sometimes like when we go when like we go out. We're just like, let's just go out and like, let's be stupid kids. Let's go like jump off like small buildings and stuff. You can't mess up. <laughs> and then like people would be like, this person jumped off a small building. <laughs> this story is like, you don't have to do that. You want to be like able to like be stupid and like be a teenager. But like if you do something stupid, like you get like a bad. G M Z like Finn Wolfhard jumps off like bridge into water. <laughs> what? <laughs> The well, bridge was off limits, but he did it anyway. Or even like little, even like little things like this person running indoors, <laughs> like at the mall being loud, running like, at the pool. <laughs> <laughs> oh my That's god! That's how Millie broke her <laughs> knee. <laughs> That's true. Don't run at the pool. Don't kids. run at the pool. That's how Millie broke her knee. Don't do that. But like, and also like, you get like we get recognized pretty much every time we go out yeah. in public areas, which is it's cool and yeah. stuff. But like, sometimes like. My mom will be like, you want to go out to eat? And I'll be like, not really. <laughs> no, because I want to, like, eat. I, like, don't, like, I want to yeah. eat and, like, not have, not like, like, stand up there and, like, I love taking pictures with, with fans yeah, and everything. I love knowing that you're, people you're, love the you're, work. You're, you're, it's hard. <laughs> I'm trying to get <laughs> through it. I'm just waiting to see you Kiro's, finish. like, visualizing, like, <laughs> he's, he's doing <laughs> a little improv <laughs> stage. Like yeah. And then someone taps me and their breath stinks and they're what? like, I didn't can say I, that. Can I take a picture? I don't, no. They never sound like that. <laughs> and then I can't finish my steak, guys. Yeah. So make sure you come with your breath correct. But someone, <laughs> I, <All right>. was, <laughs> I was at a movie theater watching a movie. <laughs> I was watching Thor Ragnarok at the movie theaters. Anytime I go see a Marvel movie, do not bother me. I need to see what's going on. 
Someone stood up in the movie theater, walked over and said, can I get a picture with you? As the movie's going on, it's packed. And then somebody in the front of the theater goes, shut up. <laughs> and, then, and then he goes, it just sits down. I'm just, but I'm you're also like, like it's a movie, dude. Come on, just wait till it's wait till the credits. I'll take a picture with you. Wait till the credits, though. Like, don't do that. And Come then I, I remember asking you, I'm like, oh, why don't you just put a hat on? And you're like, that doesn't help. That doesn't help. <laughs> that it doesn't just makes do it worse. It makes it worse. Because for me, I can just like tuck my hair yeah, up. Yeah, someone, on some someone the other day was just like, oh, why don't you just do a hat and sunglasses? And I'm like, still the same face. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't do anything. Just putting on glasses. And, and just if you're wearing putting a on hat and sunglasses inside, people are usually gonna look over and go, "Who's this guy?" Yeah. Who's well, this weirdo? Also, <laughs> I got I got glasses, and I was like, "Oh, maybe like me wearing the glasses, maybe uh, people won't." And then the guy was just like, "Oh, that's Finn Wolfhard with glasses on." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Darn. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. Okay, this is gonna be the last question. Uh, no. Can it be the second to last question? It could be the second to last yeah, question. Yeah. Hi, I'm Ava from New York, and since you guys travel Ooh, a lot, whoop. I want to know what's your favorite place you've ever been to. Favorite place you've ever, ever been. So sorry. Favorite favorite, favorite place, place you've ever traveled. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Paris. Uh, Paris. Paris is, awesome. is my favorite Paris city. Paris is awesome. But we're also uh, we're gonna be going to Tokyo. Paris. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, I was like. We're fine. gonna be going to Tokyo sorry. soon. I know that, and also I'm very excited. Uh, we're, go we're, going we're, going Italy. Italy. we're going to Italy. We're going to Italy, and we're going to Turkey. Yeah. Lots of cool places. I'm going to Istanbul. Poland. Is I mean, yeah, we're yeah. going to Poland. I'm not going to baby. Poland. You're going to Poland. Ooh. But when you guys are in Poland, I'm going to be in Istanbul, which is awesome. I'm so excited to go to Istanbul. That's going to be awesome. But uh, yeah, Paris is That's awesome. That's going to be the my Mexico favorite city, city was really cool to to wrap uh, mm -hmm. to make it faster. Uh, and New York is always fantastic to go to. But yeah, yeah. what about you, Sadie? New York is the city. House. Um, Paris. 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 Venice was really cool to <gasps> visit, but. Paris was like, it's a city I can see myself living in. Food is amazing, man. Oh my like, God. Oh yeah. It's not, it's not Television. fake like on, on like on TV. Like I would relate to Disney, watching Disney all the time. And they're like, oh, and they're in Paris and they're eating food. Ratatouille is the best movie ever made. Ratatouille? <laughs> Yeah. Ratatouille. You never seen Ratatouille? No, oh my, I love Ratatouille. Oh, the, you said it like you didn't know what that was. I was like, oh my. Gosh. It's a great movie, and Paris is a great city. It. Thank you so much. And last but not least, hi. Um, hello, my name is Izzy, and I'm from Vancouver, BC. Yeah! <laughs> and my dad has been annoying me the entire day to just bring up my shoes because I got them custom made, custom made Stranger Things vans. Oh, cool. <laughs> um, and my question is what is the best prank that you've pulled on set on each other? Prank. Oh. Best prank on set. There, there's a prank that Millie and Noah did, and they convinced. One of it's so mean and it's awful and I, I'm like still like uh, cringing at it. They convinced one of the crew members I don't think that's that the their best wedding prank. venue was canceled. <laughs> that's a pretty good prank, yeah. I guess. It's a good prank, but Jesus, it's I mean, not a nice one. I mean, how fucked up is Dude, that, that's right? <laughs> that's crazy. That's terrible. How do you convince someone that they're not gonna have their wedding at that venue that they, and like your wedding was coming up. Like, like, like it was soon. it was like three it was like weeks. next day the was next it, day no. it, it was like it was like two weeks or something yeah no one was on close. the phone he's like this is Brad from this venue uh, we regret to inform you that uh, we will not be able to host your wedding it was like, oh, why would you do that and then they're like it's a prank and she's like funny <laughs> <laughs> funny stuff <laughs> and she's like, crying too. <laughs> she, I think she's crying yeah that's a shout out to Emily I mean, Cream. Our uh, dresser on yes. season one. We miss you so much. We, and we haven't so had you much. back. But yeah, we Emily Kramer. Yeah, we hope your wedding was great. She had the wedding, guys. She had the wedding. She yeah. had the wedding. Yay! <laughs> thank you so much. And you guys, thank you so much for joining us for kicking off day four of the main stage. Yay. Did you guys have a good time? Thank you.